Hello children, today's lesson is on what to do when encountering a WMD strike. The WMD refers to the ham hock shaped nub at the end of the Big Show's arm. When the giant winds back, here's what you do. You simply duck and cover. Let's duck and cover. Okay boys and girls, now you know what to do to stay safe in the event of a WMD strike. Welcome back to Kayfabe Science, the show where I hodgepodge together a whole bunch of pseudoscience in order to justify all kinds of pro wrestling nonsense. I'm your host, Dr. D. Lizzle, and today we'll be talking about one of the most devastating finishers in all of the WWE, the WMD Knockout Punch. Now not only is this more significantly damaging than other punches, but this is also more significantly damaging than a lot of other moves that wrestlers like to do in order to finish off their opponents. First, what separates the Big Show's fisticuffs from other people when they decide to throw them thanks? Well for that, let's just peep the blast radius. And to measure such force, we will be using the unit of measure known as the Newton, named after Sir Isaac Newton. Now an amateur boxer uses approximately 2500 newtons in one punch. Now this totally lines up with the formula that a person's punch exerts just about as much force as their body mass does multiplied by 3.5. However, that's an amateur boxer, and the Big Show's punch has been measured to be almost twice as much as a professional heavyweight boxing champion. And this also lines up with the fact that the Big Show weighs almost twice as much as your average heavyweight boxer. And speaking of his massive size, wrestling fans have to give a big hand for the Big Show's big hand. His enormous fist supported by his enormous physique isn't just going to exert a whole lot of force, but it's also going to do it over a much larger area. And since the Big Show's fist is almost the size of a person's head, well that means that he's going to send shockwaves not just through one vulnerable knockout spot, but several. Thus making accuracy less important when delivering a WMD strike, because not only are you going to hit the target spot, but everything around it just for good measure. The WMD is definitely the nuclear option of punching. But fear not accuracy fans, because the Big Show's punch is also capable of precision targeting strikes, even though it really doesn't need to be. Paul White has worked as everything from a bouncer to a bounty hunter before becoming the Big Show. So with the potential these jobs have for physical altercations, it's no surprise that the Big Show isn't just large and in charge, but he also knows how to properly throw a punch. Oh, and in addition to his massive girth, his height is also a distinct advantage as well. Being as tall as he is, he's allowed to use downward momentum to let gravity do some of the work for him. And the lack of a height difference could also explain why Braun Strowman was able to recover from the move much quicker than a lot of other people can. Also, with Rusev being all the way down on the mat, this could also explain why the WMD was able to incapacitate him and put him on the DL for months. But the most important part of the WMD knockout punch is the use of effective mass. Just like a spring system, this has to do with the moment of impact being timed perfectly with the apex of the punch before the recoil. This combined with the Big Show's body being perfectly aligned to support the punch, and the punch itself reaching maximum speed at the fastest possible rate would result in blunt force trauma to anyone's dome piece. So there you have it, that's what you're in store for if the Big Show decides he's going to give you a fisting. What? <laughs>